now, breaking news from NBC4. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration. Donald Trump remaining defiant after becoming a convicted felon. The jury in Trump's hush money trial has found him guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records. The six week trial marked the first in which a former American president faced criminal charges. Jurors spent two days deliberating. They received the case late yesterday morning. And they asked for the judge to reread some of his instructions and to have portions of testimony from two different witnesses reread. The witnesses who took the stand included former adult film star Stormy Daniels, who prosecutors say received a payment to stay quiet about an affair with Trump. They also included the prosecution star witness, former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen, who said Trump orchestrated the payment. Now, the judge has set a sentencing date for July 11th, which is four days before the start of the Republican National Convention. The sentencing was pushed back because the former president faces other criminal cases in other jurisdictions. And we heard from Trump after that verdict was read. He again said the case against him was rigged and was a disgrace. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. You have a Soros-backed DA and the whole thing. We didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man. Now, you heard uh, Donald Trump mention the November presidential election. Under American law, convicted felons are allowed to run for the highest office in the land. We reached out to Governor Mike DeWine's office. He declined to comment. However, several other Ohio lawmakers took to X after today's verdict. Ohio Republican Senator J.D. Vance said in part, this decision is a disgrace to the rule of law and our Constitution. Two of Ohio's Republican congressmen are also making comments. Jim Jordan said in part, the Manhattan kangaroo court shows what happens when our justice system is weaponized by partisan prosecutors in front of a biased judge with an unfair process. And while Mike Carey said in part, this trial has eroded Americans' faith in their justice system, today's decision is proof that these charges were always political. Now, President Biden's campaign team reacting to today's news writes, in New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. Donald Trump has always mistakenly believed he would never face consequences for breaking the law for his own personal gain. The statement continues, there there is still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office at the ballot box. Convicted felon or not, Trump will be the Republican nominee for president.